The senseless violence happening in Houston is no secret. No, in fact, a historically black college's football team headed here this weekend is taking their safety into consideration now. I'm just sick and tired of the consistency of people that are influential to you are leaving us consistently. That's our rappers. That was Jackson State head coach and legendary football player Deion Sanders talking to his players about the murder of rapper Takeoff here in Houston. He even told his players that they are not allowed to leave their hotel rooms for social activities, either before or after their matchup with Texas Southern on Saturday. ABC 13's Brianna Connor joins us live in the newsroom with more on how the African American and hip hop communities are responding to Takeoff's death. Brianna. Yeah, Eric and Gina, the cultural impact of this cannot be understated. A lot of people I've spoken with today have told me this piece of news was the first thing they saw this morning. And so all day they've been trying to deal with the death of another young, talented black man. What happened to young Dolph, tragic. What happened to Takeoff, tragic. What happened to Mo3 in Dallas, tragic. What happened to Nipsey Hussle in Los Angeles, California, tragic. Community activist Derek Mohammed mentioning just a few hip hop artists killed by gun violence in the past three years. The oldest one on his list was 36. The cemeteries are filled with black brilliance that died way before their time. Takeoff should be alive right now to continue to give the world the gift that God gave to him. But somebody made the mindless decision to fire a weapon and kill an innocent man. And now his, his loved ones, his fans, our community, the culture, his entire family has to live with this for the rest of their lives. His lyricism was so great. Um, he was, you know, he just, he just talked about everything and it, he was a powerful voice in the hip hop community. And he was really loved uh, uh, across the world, but definitely right here in Houston. That love from fans like DJ JQ couldn't protect 28 year old takeoff from the greed, envy and lack of respect for life that Muhammad says too often turned talented black men into targets. It's a cycle of violence and retaliation that he doesn't want to see take hold in Houston. The blood of a human being belongs in his or her veins, not on the sidewalk. And we just don't want to see any more blood spill. This is a big pain for the hip hop community. The source of the ache and the solution may both be found in the same place with a commitment from our culture to value and support the lives of young men who deserve a chance to grow old. Derek Muhammad works in the city of Houston to address the issues that lead to violent crime. He even hosts a summit annually created to empower and mentor young black men. The next one is coming up in December at St. John's Methodist Church downtown. He specifically is welcoming black boys and men to attend. In the newsroom, I'm Brianna Connor, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.